past couple of weeks. I'll be right back. There's a ton and ton of boxes and it's so many that I don't even know what's in what. So before we can start putting everything back together, I gotta open these up. Charger, some cables, Delta Hub, more cables from Ugreen. This one is a speaker stand for our speakers. My switch tester. Got my Hoto screwdriver. LED light diffuser. Way more cables. The other speaker stand. More Gobi light. Nano leaves. We have a U mouse. This bends U mouse. Oh, this box sounds super heavy. Don't you love that? A box in a box. This one is Ben's monitor arm. All of our Elgato mic stuff. Desk camp, clamp power strip. My monitor arm. This is what I'm so excited for. Edifier speakers. Cable rack. My wave mic arm. Ben chose to go with IX Tech for his mic arm. This is a power cable strip. It's the same as the last one, but the box is just so much longer. Ah! Holy cow! These are our bench lights. We've always wanted these, but they're so expensive. Let me clean up everything for you guys. First step, let's start by mounting each of our giant power strips. Also, look how long. Also, look how long yours is. Together, they're longer than I am. Okay, go. I think we're gonna mount this on the bottom of the desk over here. I think mine's gonna go like here ish, but like inside. So since we have the, the skeleton cable thing, I want it kind of like vertical to the power strip here. So it's not, you know, dangling sideways like this. So I think it looks a lot, a lot nicer like that. So you can go up, down, up, down. But I think the power strip's gonna go here. So I think this one just kind of slide it in like this. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. This is gonna be in between my legs. For the desk LED strips, we chose the Gobi ones because we already got the Gobi lights that were in the corner. So that's gonna pair really well. They're all gonna sync together. So that's super nice. So we're gonna put one strip on Ben's desk and one strip on mine. Unfortunately, this video is not sponsored by Gobi. We wouldn't mind if it was, but we purchased all of this with our own money. It comes like this. It has adhesive already on it. We're just gonna rip it off and stick it to the back to the desk, cut off the extra, and we're good to rock and roll. Now that we have the lights installed and all the power stuff plugged in, I think we should start mounting things on the desk. Since Ben has the Samsung Odyssey 29 49 inch ultra wide, he needs a ultra sturdy monitor arm. So this will be our first time mounting his monitor. But let's see what monitor arm we chose. We chose pout. Poot. How would you say this? I would say pout. Pout. Correct me if I'm wrong. Hopefully this thing is like heavy duty enough to support the 49 inch monitor. Yeah, this bad boy. Why does it have a USB cable? I don't think I got that. Oh, this thing, this thing has RGB. It's okay. got RGB. You've got more FPS. More FPS. More RGB. It seems really sturdy. It even has a little pad to protect your uh, desk. That you built yourself. It looks like a Gundam. 
Wow, it looks so good. So the, the reason I wanted to mount the monitor first is because I want to determine where the monitor goes because that's the main thing here. It's 49 inches. So if you put the other stuff first and then you put your monitors later, your monitor kind of have to adjust to whatever stuff you have there. And then uh, it would be really hard to move it around later on. It's like a rug in the living room. It rounds your couch and ties everything in. The monitor ties in your setup and it's the main focal point. Well, I'm gonna grab my monitor first then. This thing is so heavy. You see how big that is? All right, let's go ahead and put this thing together. I'm gonna set the monitor face down and then uh, install the Visa mount, this guy, onto the back of the monitor. And then we'll figure out where the arm goes. Luckily, we have a big test. Uh, got this brackets off and then there are four screws attached. Just gonna remove that. Hopefully the stand will come out. Looks like we need an adapter for the 49 inch monitor. So we're gonna hold off into mounting this monitor arm to the monitor. So we're gonna do something else today. I guess we can still mount the monitor arm to the desk first and then just wait for the adapter to arrive and then just put on the monitor onto the arm. The monitor is pretty heavy. If we like put it all the way in the middle, then it's just gonna have too much stress onto the center of the desk. And then over time, it's just gonna bow a little bit and we don't really want that. So I kind of want to just have it set to somewhere near the leg so the leg can kind of support the arm too. It's so sturdy. Next, we have our mic arm. Hopefully, it can fit. Oh, yeah. And there's a screw set going here. I should read the manual. All these Elgato products are not sponsored. We bought it with our own money. Who mm -hmm. oh, boxes like that? And it also comes with an extra long USB A to C cable. This is what we need. Put this one in. Doesn't this one look like a robotic arm? Me! Put this one in. Upside down. Screw the screw in. Testing, testing. Like that. Okay, so next we're gonna bring in the monitor stand and then just kind of like set it here. Let's go. Hi. I'm back already. This one is by Nord, Nord Desk, Nord Dog, Nord Nordic. That's an I. I picked one that's like kind of similar to the color we have here on the desk. This thing is pretty long. I think it's like 50, 52 inches. Who in boxes like that? This is my favorite part, the monitor stand. I love monitor stand. Why do you unbox everything upside down? So we can install the feet later. It'll be a lot easier. Who unboxes like that? Look at the feet. Look at this engraving. It's pretty nice, right? So setting this up is easy peasy. We just put in all six of these feet and we're ready to go.
I like it, but I think that makes my space a little smaller here now, right? But the monitor is gonna be super, super huge too, so maybe that'll turn out great. So as you can see, I purchased Edifier speakers for myself because we already have a set of speakers here at home. So since we want our setups to kind of match, we've decided to go with the Edifier speaker that we already have um, downstairs to pair with this new one that we purchased. So we still get that matchy-matchy vibe. It's a little bit dusty, but I'll, I'll clean it off. One thing I really like about the speaker is, uh, is the look of it's behind the mesh. Look at this. I didn't notice this until Jenny told me you can remove the mesh. And I was like, wow, it looks pretty nice. I'm gonna put you guys down because this is pretty cable managed in, so I will meet you guys back in the office. We got it. <laughs> They're a little dusty. That sounds right. This one is left. Okay, we're gonna start by unboxing the speaker stand. Whoa, I didn't know these are heavy metal. Feel them. <laughs> also, one thing to notice about this, these are not height adjustable or angle adjustable because they come in a certain angle. So if you want to adjust them a little bit, it's not gonna work. This is the right one, right? The right one. I don't know if it's the right one. But it's the right, right one. So I'm just setting the monitor here to kind of visualize how the setup would look like. Eventually it's going to go on the monitor arm. But I just want to kind of see how it looks like for now. The felt desk man from Dauntree. They even give you a little one. Here comes the PC. Why is your PC white? You know, I've been wanting to do a black PC now. But it's not the right time, so subscribe and support us. Thank you. Come here. Look at what you did to my PC. Does this color match the setup over here? It matches your hoodie. You guys tell me. Comments down below. Let me know if this pink color matches the black setup, okay? It matches your hoodie. Your new Archetype Origins merch. No sag. No sag. start with the BenQ light first. It's a UQ, babe. UQ? UQ? It's my Q! Whoa, look at this. Fancy. Hey, low, hey, low. I like the most about this light is this hey, low, hey, low. wireless controller. It's gonna go somewhere here. Um, I'm not sure yet. Get the quality of this thing. Next, we're gonna do the wireless charger for my phone.
All right, so the Visa adapter is here, so we can go ahead and switch the pointer stand out and then put the adapter, see if it works. Let's go. Ooh. Looks pretty sturdy. Wow, the tension is strong. It's a mess now, but we're gonna start with cable managing. So these are the cable runway from Vivo that we're gonna be using. I'm not sure how I'm gonna mount it yet, but we'll see. All right, I'm off of work and I'm super excited because we finally get to set up my desk. Our setups are very similar. Instead of just making you watch the same thing all over again, we'll just do a quick rundown of how I set up my side. It's pretty similar, but instead of having one ultra wide monitor, I ended up going with a dual monitor setup. I chose this monitor arm from Vivo because each arm can move independently, which was good for me to set up different heights. I really debated if I wanted to do two horizontal monitors or if I wanted to do one as a vertical monitor. I definitely want to use my 32 inch Samsung monitor as my primary because it is 4K. The secondary monitor is my old monitor. It's only 27 inches and 1080p. I usually use it just to read emails or if I have Discord up. I ended up putting it here on the left side and I think it looks great. To match Ben, I also got the Dawn Trees mat and I have two sets of peripherals, one in pink and then another in white. I even got a new mouse for my setup, which I'm super excited to use. It's actually the same mouse that I used to have, but in white. Sometimes when I'm on the computer too long, I do find my wrist to be tired. So I got this Delta Hub wrist support also. We've actually used this edifier speaker for a long time in our vinyl setup, but since we moved it to the office for Ben, I got one to match in white. It's really satisfying to unbox it again after so many years. Look how gorgeous it looks without the cover. And I got these little metal stands for them. They look so cute and perfect. For my mic set, I chose to go all Elgato parts. I really wanted the low profile mic arm so I could slide it underneath my monitor. I got the full Elgato Wave set, including the shock mount and the pop filter. I chose the Elgato Wave 3 because it's such a well-known mic and a lot of people use it, which means there's also a lot of third party accessories for it. So if I ever want to change things up, it's easy to find something. It was super easy to install everything. Just a couple of thumb screws here and there and I was ready to rock and roll. With this setup, if I'm not using my mic, I can just slide it behind my monitor. We have been seeing these BenQ lights all over our Instagram feeds and our YouTube feeds and we have been eyeing them for a long time. So I was super excited when we decided to get these for our own setups. Not only is the light super aesthetic, but it actually does reduce eye strain in my opinion. So it's worth it. My PC will go in this corner, but I hope to upgrade it soon. This is my little giraffe I got from a local craftsman, and he sits in the corner of my PC case to be emo, just like me. Nothing says my setup is lit like having too much RGB, so more LED lights everywhere. I managed to actually use the whole strip under my desk. As with everything, when you start getting your setup towards the end, the cables get crazy, and then you tie it all together, and you're set to go. It's Sunday! It's the last day of the weekend, so before the work week starts again, there's a couple things we need to do. You can see our office is more or less set up. Ben's working on some last bit of lights. Desks are all set up, computers are all set up, but there's one really big thing we gotta do, and that's the hallway. So while we were working on putting together the office, we put all the stuff that was in the office here in the hallway, and it's kind of a disaster. So let's fix it.
addition to the LED strips that we have under our desk and the Gobi floor lamps that we have up here, we want to add a little bit more light. So we're going to add Gobi rope lights in between the wood slats just to kind of give a little bit more light to this wall. And then we'll set it to do something that has a little bit of movement also. So we have one for each of us and it's going to go one on each side. We're thinking maybe we'll add more in the future. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. If you remember from our previous setup, we had some nano leaves up on the wall. We're going to continue um, to do that. So we have a couple nano leaves that we already had from before and we added one more box just so we could have some nano leaves on this side of the room. Previously, it was only on the other side. So it should give a more balanced look when the lighting is kind of even on both sides. I think it will just slide in. Oh! Oh, yeah. And now, once again, we're left with a bunch of cables under our desk to manage. So to hide the cables that are going to run across the bottom of the trim here, I bought some race plates. They open up and you can run your cables through inside and I'm just going to run them this way. So it kind of blends in with the trim. So I'm trying to get an idea of what I want, so I'm just planning it out right now. But it's gonna go over here on top of my monitor. So I'll be right back once I know what I want. Or you can do a heart, because you love me. <laughs> it's almost a heart. It's cute. Oh no, I broke it. Put the heart. Heart, heart. All right, so I think we found a layout. This is gonna be the one we're gonna go for. So we're gonna put this on here. I want to put my nano leaves here along this wall, um, kind of in a stair shape, but it's really hard for me to figure out the measurements and I'm too lazy to download the nano leaf app. So here's my idea. I'm going to map out what I need using the packing paper that came with my lights and then lay it on the ground as kind of a canvas. I just need one more piece for this and I'm gonna lay it on the ground and then design my lights from there. Genius. At least I think it is. <laughs> So I mapped out the shape of my nano leaf, and from here I'm going to kind of figure out what I want. So I have no clue what I want. We'll figure it out as we go. We're done, but everything else is a. Uh... Don't look. It's embarrassing. Oh no! Oh no! Let's clean up. One week later. Going to return everything that we don't need. Go, go! We have a couple things we're not actually using in our build, so we're gonna return these bookshelves. Listen, listen, listen. While we were filming this, Mauno reached out to us and asked us if we wanted to try out their mics. So they sent us over their PD400X, and if you're wondering what it sounds like, well, you already know. All the voiceovers in this video are recorded on this bike. Ben ended up swapping out his Elgato Wave 3 for this Mauno microphone. As it is designed for podcasting, the sound quality is actually a little bit better, especially for voiceovers, and he prefers the aesthetic. In addition to the microphone, Mauno also sent us the Caster C2 Neo podcasting console for us to try out. It has an XLR microphone input and it works well with PC and mobile. Not only is it functional, but we also appreciate its aesthetic. It's compact in form and looks techy and professional. To finish off Ben's setup, we also reached out to Devoom to see if they would gift us with this timescape. It came in a super cool and futuristic box and the unboxing experience was so much fun. You can see here, it has five different separate screens that you can set to do whatever you want. It's more or less plug and play, but tell me if you agree. Doesn't it look like five Apple Watches stuck together in a fun case? We use it to track you guys and our YouTube view counts, so subscribe so the number goes up. I know you've been waiting for it. I'll shut up so you can watch the finished setup.
咖啡。